Namaste, my darlings. Welcome to the mat. And first off, thank you for allowing me to be your teacher today. And thank you for dedicating 25 minutes to you and your well-being. So for those who don't know me, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch. And welcome to today's 25-minute twist yoga flow. So today we're really going to be concentrating on opening up the shoulders, looking at our shoulder mobility and playing around with our twists both open and closed, and also our binds. So if you have a yoga strap available, you're welcome to grab that um, to help you with some of the binds or blocks, anything like that, anything that supports you and your practice. But when you're ready, my darlings, I will meet you back here in just a moment so we can get started. I've had a lot of coffee and I imagine that sentence was very fast. I'll meet you back here in a moment. Okay, so to begin today's flow, we're going to come into a comfortable seated position. So maybe you sit in hero's pose, sitting back on the heels, or maybe you're cross-legged. But wherever you are, we inhale to roll those shoulders back and find length through the crown. Beginning the class together with one deep inhale. And one slow exhale. And choosing the energy that you'd like to welcome in for today's flow. If you're looking for a bit of strength, perhaps, then you can flip those palms down into your knees, starting to connect with your energy, with the earth beneath you. Or perhaps if you're looking for a bit of positivity, maybe a bit of healing, you can flip those palms up towards the sky, start to draw in the energy of the sun and the moon. But just starting to ground ourselves here starting to pay attention to the breath, the journey that it takes. And perhaps even scanning ourselves from the crown of the head to the tops of the tippy toes to see how we're feeling. Maybe if there's any tension, any stiffness. Aiming to steady out our breath, making equal inhales, making equal exhales here. As we remain in our seated and grounding pose for five more breaths. Beautiful, my darlings. And when you're ready, we're going to move a little bit deeper into the flow by simply allowing the left hand to float to the mat beside us. And we inhale to sweep the right arm all the way overhead, opening up the side of the body. If you want to intensify it, you can bend the left elbow and move a centimeter deeper. Before we move back into the center, right hand floats to the mat. Inhale to sweep the left arm all the way overhead. Again, you might bend that elbow to intensify this side body stretch. Gently moving back into the center from here, right hand floats this left knee and we're going to move into our seated twist. So inhale to open that chest. Exhale to find the twist. Now, if you can hear noises in the background of this video, it's because my cat is going nuts. I think he's found a ball or something, because I'm really sorry. <laughs> so in our twist, 
aiming to keep that spine lovely and long. If you want to go deeper, then maybe this left arm floats behind you to find the right thigh. Beautiful, untangle the arm straight away, left hand floats this right knee and we find that twist. If you want to go deeper, you can wrap the right arm behind. Beautiful, moving back into the centre straight away from here. We're going to extend this left leg so this right leg still stays bent. If you feel it's a bit high to the sky, that knee, you can pop a block under. But from where we extend this leg, we're going to pull back on this left hip, get nice and lined as we inhale through the nose. Exhale, left hand slides on the inside of the left leg and we open up the side body. Reaching this right arm all the way overhead as if you want to grab that toes, but not letting this arm float in front of the face. Keep it lifted. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Gently replace the left hand with the right, and we inhale to sweep the left arm up to the sky. So it's a right if the arm's here, it's a right if you twist it all the way back. Just checking that shoulder mobility. I'm a little bit stiff today, so gazing up at the hands. Holding five, four, three, for two, and one. Bring the body back into the center, bend the left knee, extend the right, and again, this right arm is gonna slide on the inside of the right leg. Open up the side body with the left arm. Holding five breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful. Before we replace the right arm with the left. <laughs> Hello, row. Inhale, right arm comes to the sky. What are you doing? Please don't be naughty. Holding three, arm burning two, and one, move back into the center. From here, you can cross those ankles or swing the legs to the side, but we're gonna find our way into our tabletop position. And from our tabletop position, we're simply gonna work through some cat-cow stretches to wake up that spine. So on our inhale, drop that chest, take the gaze all the way forward. On your exhale, curve the spine, bring the chin into the chest. And working through this movement with the rhythm of your own breath, so inhaling to drop the chest, exhale to curve. I'm so frightened he's going to grab my hair. Oh, and he did. <laughs> Yes, get off. And then from here in this tabletop, you're gonna bring the spine into a neutral position and we're gonna slide the left hand into the center of the mat. Inhale, the right arm floats to the sky. Exhale, twist it behind the body. If you wanna test that core, you can extend the left arm here and move a centimeter deeper. You can even test it further by lifting the left leg all the way up, holding five. Four, keep it lifted, three, two, and one. Release the left knee, release that twist. Right hand replaces the left. As we inhale, arms come high. Exhale, wrap this left arm behind the body again. You can increase this stretch by sliding out the right toes and even lifting up, it feels good to you. Holding five. Four, three, but two, and one. Release the right knee, release this left arm. And from here, we're gonna move into our melting heart or our puppy pose, whatever you decide to call it. So keeping these hips stacked directly on top of those knees, 
avoiding your four-legged friends, you can begin to slide those arms all the way forward, either moving onto the forehead or you can move onto the chin, but beginning to open up these shoulders. If you want to come deeper here, and this is completely optional as it's a deep pose already, you can bring those knees to touch and you lift the legs, the, sorry, the calves off the floor. So if you're pointing the toes, lift the lower leg up. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those legs down and keep holding your melting heart pose for a further five breaths. It's an intense pose. You've got it, my loves. Holding five, four, three, for two. On your one, press into the hands, roll the body forward, push into those shoulders as we, <laughs> as we drop the hips down, coming to a seal pose. Maybe looking back at one foot. Yes, into the centre, look back at the other. Before we inhale through the nose, oh God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Exhale, lower the body down, all the way to the mat. <laughs> inhale, find your way to upward dog. Exhale, bend the knees, tuck the toes, move to down dog. Beginning to pedal through these legs here, so bending one knee. Bending another. If this is the first time you've met me on the mat today, then this is Roanoke, my very naughty little black cat. There's also Luna, my little sprockel running around too. Oh God. So holding your down dog for five breaths. <sighs> Tucking that last rib in, push the hip bones high. Keeping the breath nice and steady, even if you're in a state of panic due to a black cat hanging on to your hair. Oh God, he's not helping my split ends. Holding five, four, for three, two, and one. Bring the big toes to touch. On your inhale, sweep the left leg to the sky. Exhale, draw this knee into the chest. Step it between the thumbs. From here, we're gonna lower this back knee all the way down, untuck those toes. Inhale, we find our way into our low lunge, sweeping these arms all the way overhead. Find length through the crown. And then exhale, hands come to heart center in prayer. And we're gonna twist all the way to the right hand side, so working with that mobility. On your inhale, you lift that chest. On your exhale, you twist. From here, working with that breath once more, we inhale through the nose. Exhale, left elbow comes to hook this right knee and find your way into that prayer twist, pushing into the elbows to take you a little bit deeper. Now you might choose to stay here or you can tuck the back toes, push into the heel and lift all the way up. But we're gonna hold it here for five breaths, in through the nose and out the nose for five, Four, yes, for three, two, on your one, wherever you are, you frame the front foot, and from here, keeping on those tippy toes on the back foot, right hand comes on the inside of this right foot, and we inhale, left arm comes all the way to the sky. If you want to increase it, you can wrap it behind the back but holding for a few breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. Five, four, three, yes, two, and one. Left hand comes to the mat, step back to plank and make your way through your first vinyasa. Knees up, knees down, it's completely up to you. But when you inhale, find length through the crown. When you exhale, bend the knees, tuck those toes, down dog. 
making this movement straight away to the other side. We bring these big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Exhale, we draw this knee into the chest. Step it between those hands, lower the back knee down. Finding our way to low lunge, we sweep those arms overhead. And then bring the hands to heart center, finding length through that crown. And we pivot this chest all the way to the left hand side. So working with our mobility, see how we're feeling here. And this hip's not forward, uh, sorry, this hip's not following you back. Keep them square to the front. As we inhale through the nose, exhale, right elbow hooks this left knee, coming to your prayer twist, pushing into those elbows to open up that spine. And you can choose to stay here, or maybe you tuck the back toes, lift all the way up. And gazing towards the back of the mat, no tension in the neck. Holding five, four, three, two, yes, and one, hands frame the front foot, let's move this open twist again, left hand comes on the inside of the left foot, keeping on those back toes, we inhale, right arm comes to sky, it's a strange little twist, so if it feels comfortable to you, you're welcome to take the gaze up to follow the hands, even wrapping that right arm behind you, holding five, four, three, two, yes, my loves, and one, both hands come to the mat, step back to plank, knees up, knees down, find your way through, excuse me, your vinyasa, inhale, upward dog, exhale, bend the knees, tuck the toes, your choice, you can take a rest in down dog, or maybe you choose to rest in child's pose. But getting yourself comfortable wherever you are. And if you're noticing edits in this flow, a cat's there, cat's suddenly not there, it's because he is a demon. And every now and again, I have to throw holy water on him and hope for the best. So he's now been kicked out. <laughs> oh, welcome to the chaos of the Yogi Witch. So let's keep this flow going, adding some binds in. So wherever you are, you're going to walk these big toes together and find your way into your down dog. Inhale, right leg comes to the sky. Bend this knee off, split dog. Exhale, draw this knee into the chest. Step it between the hands, keep the back leg up if it's available. As we inhale, arms flow overhead, find our way to high lunge. And then exhale, come to prayer in the center of your chest. First, we pivot into a bit of an awkward twist, so sending that body to face over to the right hand side. Push into the back foot to keep you strong. And then we hook left elbow, right knee holding here. Now, depending how you feel, you might choose to stay in your prayer twist, or maybe you're able to find a bind underneath those arms. So wrapping the left hand underneath the right thigh, right hand, right hand, right arm floats overhead, holding five, four, whoop, <laughs> three, oh, it's hard, two, Yes, and one, hands frame the front foot. This time, we pivot that back foot to come parallel with the back of the mat. Right hand floats on the inside of the right foot, and we inhale, left arm comes to the sky. Again, you can choose to find a bind here by tucking the right elbow underneath the right knee. Wrap the left arm behind. Keep this chest lifted, holding five, four, three, two, and one, yes, hands come back to the mat, pivot on this back foot, step into plank, and make your way through your vinyasa, inhale, upward dog, exhale, bend the knees, tuck the toes, find your way back to your down dog, seeing how these shoulders are feeling, so this is just a mini 
kind of shoulder opening flow. It's a beautiful detoxifying and kind of invigorating flow. It's a beautiful way to unblock the heart chakra and to awaken the solar plexus. So from here, my loves, we bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg floats the sky, bend the knee off, split dog. And then when you're ready, we draw the knee to the chest, step it between the hands. Find your way to your high lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take that awkward twist to the left hand side, keeping those hips squared to the front of the mat. With control, right elbow hooks the left knee, and we first find our pray, pray, uh, find our way to prayer twist. Or maybe you're able to find a bind underneath the body. It is not an easy bind. So pushing into that back heel to keep yourself strong here. Holding five, four, for three, for two, yes, and for one. Release the bind, frame that front foot as we pivot this back foot to come parallel with the back of the mat. Left hand floats the inside of that left foot and we sweep the right arm up to the sky. You can stay here in a side angle or maybe you're able to find the bind behind the back. Holding five, four, three, two, Yes, and one, hands come back to the mat, step into your plank, knees up, knees down, flow through your vinyasa, inhale, upward dog, exhale, we bring the knees to touch and we're going to sink back to child's pose, so letting those arms hang heavy down by our sides, so curving over the shoulders here, giving yourself a moment. So getting in tune with the breath. Feeling the heat in the shoulders. Even though this flow is like 25 minutes, you are still creating so much magic on the mat. And blocking the heart chakra, waking up the solar plexus. Feeling detoxified, feeling awake, and also creating so much space in the shoulders, in the spine. So maybe you choose to repeat the kind of parts of the flows that we've already done, or maybe you choose to come and cool down with me. It's whatever depends, or however suits you, how much time you have. So if you want to repeat the first couple of flows, you're welcome to rewind, go back to it. Or if you're ready to cool down with me, you're going to slide those hands back to the mat. Inhale, we lift to tabletop. And then from here, we're going to slide the left arm forward, thread the right arm underneath and coming to our thread the needle pose. So it's just starting to cool out the shoulders. Starting to ease out the muscles. And remember, you're always welcome to go a bit further. So if you want to stay here in your thread the needle, you're welcome to. Or you can begin to extend the left arm to put in a le um, left arm, extending the left leg here, sorry. Start to put a bit more pressure into the right shoulder. Be 
beautiful. Gently bring the left knee back to the mat. Press into the hands to inhale, lift the body. Exhale, let's take this thread the needle to the other side. So threading the left arm underneath the right. And your choice, you can stay here or maybe you extend the right leg, put a little bit more pressure into the left shoulder. With control, bring the right knee to the mat, slide the arms back to tabletop, and from here, we're very simply going to roll all the way on to the back, hugging one knee, hugging another ear to the chest, and just taking a couple of rocks from side to side. And so, massaging the base of the spine into the mat. As we end with one final twist, we allow those knees to roll all the way over to the right hand side. And we're gonna take our gaze over to the left and maybe those arms flow overhead to create almost like a box around the face. Inhale, these knees come into the centre. Exhale, loud and full all the way over to the left hand side. Gaze floats over to the right. Inhale, move back into the center. The arms stay overhead and this is your choice. You can extend the legs here, nice and flat, or maybe bring the bottom of the feet together and allow the knees to fall open into your butterfly legs. But wherever you are, closing the class together with one deep inhale. And one slow exhale out. Just finding a few moments of stillness to honor our practice, to honor our minds. Making those exhales longer than your inhales now. Feeling relaxed, but feeling a sense of energy washing all over the body, embracing that magic that you create on the mat today. As we stay for just a few more breaths.
If you want to stay in your Shavasana a little bit longer, my loves, you're welcome to do so, sending so much love from my mat to yours. I'm thanking you for joining me today. Or if you're ready to come out with me, on your next inhale, you're very slowly going to bring these knees to touch as we allow the body to roll to one side of our mat. And keeping the head heavy, we're going to lift ourselves in to a comfortable seated position, wherever that position might be, rolling the shoulders back and bringing the hands to heart center. When you're ready, you're going to blink the eyes open and come back into the room. Thanking you so much for joining me on the mat today for this twist and invigorating yoga flow. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of introduction to twist to binds. Remember, if you want to keep practicing this flow, you're welcome to do so. I'm hopefully bring something a little bit longer, maybe to my YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks. But thanking you so much for allowing me to be your teacher today and for giving me the honor of joining you and your practice. The magic in me honors the magic in you and I hope to see you again on the mat very soon. I'll see you later, my darlings.